Hi, my name is Morgana Ray. I am regarded to be the world's leading relationship with money coach. And my passion is to guide heart-centered entrepreneurs to make more money by leading with love. And I received an email last week from a woman who is taking my rapid transformation money magnet breakthrough program. It's a self-study program online. And she wrote because she's having a challenge. And it was such a juicy challenge that I thought, well, it's easier for me to just talk than to type. So without breaking anybody's anonymity, I'm going to address her question in this video in the hopes that it will help all of you who are watching. So this was her challenge. She had done my process of digging deep and finding the root cause of her money blocks. And she personified the root cause as her money monster. And she got rid of the money monster and she replaced that old relationship of scarcity and abuse and disappointment with this new relationship with a new money honey, this new relationship with money that was working fabulously for her. So here's the challenge. The her personification of her money honey was based on a real human being, a songwriter who wrote music that really inspired her and she was having great results and she loved her imaginary money honey and then she met the songwriter, the person, the person that she had associated with her imaginary new relationship with money. She actually had a really deep, profound, wonderful experience with the human being and because she can't be with the human being the way she can be with her imaginary money honey, it caused a complete meltdown in her imaginary relationship with her money honey. And I'm smiling, but I take this really seriously because this exact thing happened almost 10 years ago with one of my all time favorite clients. So dear, sweet person going through this right now, do not despair. You are on a great path. So here's the thing. You are outgrowing the usefulness of the money honey that you had. We don't want your money honey to really be too tightly associated with a real human being because human beings have circumstances. Human beings have their own agenda. Human beings have flaws and we're supposed to. And that doesn't serve you in this relationship with this imaginary new relationship with money. So what I did with my client, Sarah, all those many years ago, she had listened to me on a teleclass, did my process, had a money honey based on a man that she had met or had some kind of relationship with at some time in her past, no longer in her life, fine, and had instant results. She made $2,000 the first day, I believe, like right away. And then she became a client of mine and really, truly one of the most inspiring inspired and intuitive and talented coaches and healers that I've ever met. It was my pleasure and joy to coach her and mentor her for about a year. So anyway, back to Sarah's story. A few months into our coaching, she came back to me and her money honey had become a problem because her feelings for that person who was no longer in her life were but it was a real person, it was starting to cause trouble in her current life. And this could no longer be her money, honey. So we did the process again from the beginning. We dug up new things and created a new monster and got rid of the new monster and then created a new money, honey. And I had this intuition for her, which may be true for you, maybe not, but I'm gonna put it out there anyway is that for her, at that point, she needed a money honey that was bigger than a mere mortal. Usually, like I would say, almost 100% of the time, except for this one instance, I say really make that relationship with that new money as human and accessible and real and luscious and equal as you can 
It should feel like just a person who has shown up. In this case, I had an intuition that he needed to be bigger than human. And so her new money honey was an archetype, was, the, was actually the green man in England. And the, the who is erotic it's like it's like oh I the the eros the the just the, the, it's a, a celtic a celtic fertility god really hunky felt very real to her and felt very different this is the key very different from her association with any real human being but she could still have a real relationship and i love this when she would, every time she would speak to her new money honey and ask him what he wanted her to do, he would always tell her to make love to her husband, which by the way, was extremely enrolling for her husband and improved his relationship with money too. And when we did the process the second time and took her to like this bigger, bigger, more magical relationship with money than she had before, fantastic things happened. And I'm not saying like they just happened to her out of the blue because that's not what I teach. She was an active participant and partner with this godlike money honey who was also sexy and a partner and romantic and, and someone that she could speak with. So here's what happened. She wrote a bunch of books. She has been leading these spiritual retreats in Europe all these years she had a radio show uh, and her coaching business got really successful and and you know happy family life and and husband and everything that goes into being a successful wealthy goddess woman so for the specific person that I'm recording this video for and for everybody else who is watching. And I believe if you're watching, you're watching for a reason. I don't believe there are accidents here. If that old money honey is no longer working, congratulations, you have graduated. And what is waiting for you is a better, more wonderful, more enriching, and I'm saying that financially, spiritually, emotionally, and in all ways, there is a new relationship with money that is ready for you. You have evolved. Let go of the old one with love or slay it as a monster, whatever is going to work for you, and move on and embrace the new. Namaste. Mwah.